Thank you so much for hanging out with me for another Mario Ramon discussion. If you like the video, definitely like the video below, comment, and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button next to the subscribe button so you can get the videos hot and fresh like a Krispy Kreme donut, okay? Today, we are going to talk about Sherry Shepard filling in for Wendy Williams while Wendy Williams is on hiatus. We pray that she gets her mind, body, and soul right and come back to work and everything. But while Wendy is away, Sherry is the perfect fit. It's kind of like the other people were trying to put the fingers into the glove, but we need the thumb part of the glove. Sherry is the thumb part of the glove. Okay, let's get into it. We're about to have a little Sherry Shepherd fan club right now because let me tell you, she knocked the ball out of the park. Her first time hosting was yesterday on Monday. I loved her outfit. I loved her hair. I love, and I mean loved, her real and rawness. That goes together like wet and water. She's so real. She's so raw. She talked about, you know, talking to her teenage son about, you know, having sex, what parents have to do. It's better you teach your, parents, your your kids than the people out in the street or have them learn online because that's not making love, honey. I don't know what that is online. They be having dirty socks in the camera, everything. They be like, well, whose foot is that? Like, they don't have a story. I don't know. Talk to the babies, okay? You got to tell them, okay? You can't leave it up to the health people. So, you know, the health teachers. So, Sherry was talking about, you know, she just threw a bottle of lotion in her son's room and closed the door because she did not want to talk about, you know, her escapades, if you will, okay? That was real. When she showed us how she transport her wigs to New York on the airplane, she holds them in her hand because she doesn't check her wigs. That was the realest moment in TV other than when Annalise on How to Get Away with Murder pulled her wig off in front of her husband. Very first season. Uh, but that, but Sherry Shepard was up there. I mean, it, it was up there. She looked good. Her, her, she was funny. She was witty. Uh, she did good interview skills, you know, interviewing skills with Bill Bellamy. But the thing I love the most is she actually did Hot Topics. You know, when Michelle v v Visage was on and Leah Remedy, her best friend, all they did was talk about their family reunions and how they used to shop at Macy's together. I don't mean any harm, but no one wants to hear that. I love both of those women. You know, I love Michelle on RuPaul Drag Race, you know, RuPaul Drag Race. So I wouldn't want her to see this and her feelings get hurt. But it's the truth. I don't give a shit about your family reunion who cooked coleslaw with raisins in it and who didn't. Don't nobody want to care. Nobody cares about that. You know, uh, I will say that um, Sherry Shepard got right into it. She gave us a little bit because, you know, you do have to do the Regis and Kathy Lee. I'm old school, okay? You do have to do the Regis and Kathy Lee. You know, when you first get to work, have a cup of coffee, sit down and talk about it, what you call So what did you do over the weekend? We do want to know how Sherry Shepard transported her wigs. That was one of the best parts for me. And she was serious. That lady put that wig in that cabin and, 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 and the carry-on luggage, I almost blacked out. Now, before Michelle and Leah Remedy start hosting, or Leah Remedy and Michelle, vice versa, okay, uh, we had the panel with Betty Smith, and it was a plethora of different, you know, personalities, social media experts, if you will. And I think they did good. I love Betty Smith. But Betty, she is specific to me with, she, she, she almost has an air about herself where she could not let us see her with her wig off and not let us see her pushed up and pulled up. And some people you don't want to see like that. You want their personalities to be their personality. For instance, I would not want to see Brandy or Monica do Rhythm Nation. So some people you like to see stay in their lane and Betty stay in her lane. But now we have Sherry Shepard. And she's, she's not new to daytime TV, of course. She did The View, which she was very open. She said, and I got fired for The View and you know, and about her house and just different things. But she was very, very entertaining. She was engaging. She, to me, she she communicated with the audience. She talked to Norman. She talked to Suzanne. She was just, it was great. And it was something I personally did not know that, like, she, Sherry Shepard was something I didn't know I needed. She made me feel good. She opened up my good endorphins and everything. And Wendy can come back, but Sherry needs a show. 
Sherry needs a show. She could do late night. She could do anything, but Sherry is entertaining. She feels good about herself. She's open. She'll tell you about her. I was worried for, for Sherry for one time because I just didn't like how her ex-husband did her. It kind of like ticked me off how he did her. And with the, you know, it was just wrong, okay? In my opinion, because you can't be messing with my favorites and she's my favorites. You know, he's a plus one. So anyway, um, I just love how... You know, she she rocked it. And I pray that we get to see a lot more of Sherry Shepard. And like I said, I just feel, you know, I'm a fan of hers. And I want her to have a talk show. She needs her own talk show. She doesn't need to fill in for anybody. Because anybody who can do the Beyonce, anybody who can fill in for Beyonce needs their own show. Okay? And filling in for Wendy Williams is no easy task. You know, Wendy Williams will talk about literally a family member. Literally. She'll talk about your goddamn family member, honey. She'll talk about her own family. She'll be like, oh, daddy, you know those shoes don't look good on that outfit. Just anything. She'll talk about. So for Sherry to come in, she did everything she was supposed to do. Mission was accomplished. She understood the assignment. Now, I need for you to understand the assignment. I need for you to click the subscribe button below comment and also click the notification button okay um share share the video with your friends any friends who you feel will, you know any friends that you feel will like my videos definitely share my videos with your friends put it on your social media get the word out there because marketing is the key of life all right thank you so much for taking your time out to spend with me today god bless you and i'll see you next time sherry Girl, I have a partner, but you're going to make me push him down a flight of imaginary stairs and come get you because that outfit look good. Sherry's body look good. Those boobs look good. I hate to sound mean to be, you know, offensive, but her boobs look good. Her little booty look good. And the reason I say little booty because we know she ain't got no um, J-Lo, but for her body, her booty is big for her body. And them boobs are big and they're heavy. She's a diva. Fuck it. She's a diva. Like, Sherry is one of those people who fly under the radar because she don't be, like, doing the MC Hammer. Hey, I'm over here. I'm over here. She just does her job and she leaves, but she's always pleasurable. I have never been, you know, in, 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 in the TV presence of Sherry Shepard and had an uncomfortable moment unless somebody was coming for her on The View. And in that aspect, I was like, get they ass. But other than that, it's nothing that was caused by her. I love her. And and she's beautiful and she is in the vampire club because she looks the day like she looked as young as she did the day she came out. That's some tea in a coffee cup. Sip it slow because it's piping hot. All right, guys. I'll see you next time on the Mario Ramon Review. Thank you again. God bless. Peace.